okay so uh, i have a management group above i just mentioned management group management group okay this is my management group so beneath i have a subscription okay subscription okay so beneath they have uh, two resource group so what all are okay one is a production another one is test or lab or we can call it as uat as well unit and accept accept and testing okay unit and acceptance testing okay so what i will do here i will add my my key user into this group or, or this resource group okay so my key is present on production so i will just mention red color over here same as my key is present over here okay so then i will add one policy for production what policy owner policy okay so this a uh, production will be have a owner policy and same as uat will be have reader okay reader in the sense only read only read okay suppose this mike is trying to create any any virtual machine by the help of this production resource group okay so he will be able to create a virtual machine or he will be able to create any virtual machine any resources without any restrictions okay so suppose mike is selecting this subscription free trial and uh, this resource group uat resource group he would not be able to create okay so first we need to create a user right so i'll go to my uh, azure account okay then i'll go to home so i'll go to i'll go to my active directory because whenever you want to create a user we have to go to active directory right so i'll go to active directory then i'll go to users okay already we have a user mike over here so i'm going to create one more user alex okay so i will uh, like uh, simulate alex over here okay instead of mike you getting so i'm not going to use mike mike is already present over there so i will use alex okay so just consider instead of mike alex okay i'll go to my azure active directory then i will create a user how to create a user okay new user then create a user then okay we have to mention name right alex i will put alex then alex okay that's enough uh, then auto generated password i will copy the uh, password because regardless of see wherever you creating for example with password or auto generated password you have to change your password right so i'm creating auto generated password so i will just copy my password i'll paste over you okay this is my randomly created password okay then create so successfully i created a user right so it will take couple of seconds to reflect over here let's wait okay now you can see that alex is visible right i'll copy the uh, alex username or principal name then i'll go to my uh, uh, then i'll go to my chrome browser okay this is my chrome browser and i logged in my root account in ver edge browser okay so i'll minimize this then i'll go to my chrome browser uh, then i will log out from this user okay uh, signing out okay sign out so let me put the username over here first so what is the username alex alex adrid nasrullah nine hotmail on microsoft.com next uh, then i will mention the password so already copy the password then i put my password in this notepad itself i'll copy this i'll paste signing in so i have to create a new password right okay so i'll put my current password then i will create a new password signing in okay successfully logged in skip for now 14 days okay now you can see that alex has successfully logged into azure account right so now you can see that so we getting one notification over here you don't have any subscription check out the following option see either i can go with the free trial or else i can go with the any other subscription student subscription or i can take any b2 or b1 subscription right if we come down so i will select my virtual machine see now i logged in as alex user right so i will select virtual machine you can see that uh, welcome to azure don't have any subscription so i can take any subscription as of now i don't have any subscription i just created a user okay the user having authentication power but the user doesn't have any authorization power what is it mean difference uh, so uh, uh, authorization 
what is it acts as the resources okay he doesn't have any privilege to access and perform any actions on it okay so i'll go to my root account so my root account that is residing on my edge edge browser right so now what i will do here i will go to resource groups okay we need to create a resource group right as of now i don't have any resource group so i'll go to resource group so let me search okay resource group so now you can see that i don't have any resource group right okay so i will create a virtual machine sorry i will create a resource group first so click over here okay then i will select my subscription as a free trial so resource group i will create what is the first resource group name production okay i will select production okay production i will create on us us east region okay so then uh, production okay one minute production okay production so review plus create and this is going to create one a resource group okay was well, successfully created a production resource group right so i'll go to create again then i will create one more resource group what is it name testing, testing or lab okay test or uat okay so i'm going to create on the same region us east region see suppose if you want to change your region you can go with the us best to or in south central us okay i will select south central us okay so automatically when the user is selecting the resource group so he'll be only create will be only able to create that virtual machine on south central us okay so review plus create uh, then create yeah here we go so that's created right so now you can see that production and uat i'll go to my uh, alex account where is my alex account this is my alex account so i'll go to my home once again i'll select my virtual machine so till now you can see that so alex doesn't have any permission i've already created two resource group but alex doesn't have any permission right yes. okay i'll go to my root account again so now we have to select uat or we have to select production i will select my uat first okay testing first so then i'll go to uh, iam access control iam identity and access management so select on this this blade uh then we have an option add a role and we we can see all the roles over see these all are built in roles see owner contributor reader see grant full access to the manage all resources right we already discussed and what what about contributor grant full access to all resources but does not allow you to assign roles okay what about contribute sorry reader view all resources right so these all are resources pre built in resources it is all resources is managing azure we no need to create any we no need to create any roles for that okay i'll go to add add a role assignment so here we need to select the uh, role assignment owner or contributor or uh, reader whatever it can be okay so once it come then we will select a role then we'll go wait let's refresh something we have to refresh and the page okay so you can see that uh, we have uh, some roles over here owner contributor reader and all right so i will select uh, reader because i am selected now which resource group yes. testing i will select reader so view all re resources come down uh, click next okay so now we can add one user into this resource group so for that i will select members what is my member name alex, alex. i will select alex then select then review plus assign review plus assign and this is going to assign with my resource group and uh, resource group will be get one permission what is the permission reader right and i added one user into that resource group what is the username alex. alex so now you can see that successfully i added the role assignment i'll go to my alex account then i will refresh again i'll go to home i will select virtual machine once again and now you can see that let's see wait it will take some time So now you can see that. So uh, we have an option over here to create a virtual machine. So previously we doesn't have an option, right? So now it does. So I'll refresh once again. Okay. So now I will try to create a virtual machine. So click create Azure virtual machine. Okay. So now you can see that uh, I'm able to access the free trial, right? So I will just uh, select my resource group, and I can see that UAT. So when I'm select my UAT, and you'll be able to uh, see obviously the region will be changed. can see the region will be changed automatically okay so we have to select which region is is central right where is it? okay wherever i have to select one region now okay so then we have to select one name so i'll put aa for a testing so come down 
then i will review plus create let's see whether we are able to create this virtual machine or not if we are able to create a virtual machine will be get a message okay validation passed or else will be get a message what validation failed okay see validation failed why if you click over you will be get a small tab over here the client alex uh, microsoft with object id he does not have authorization to perform action right because actually we only given what read only access so i will close this window i'll back to my root account again uh, i'll go to my resource group once again then i will select my production resource group okay so go to production resource group so then uh, create a role so i go to where yeah. i am then you have to navigate what i have to do okay add. what i have to do add, add. add then create add a role assignment then then i have to select owner right yeah. so for this production i need to give all permission okay then next, next. next. then number. okay we have to add a member so i will select alex over there okay then then next. alex next then review plus assign right so we have to okay only add select and review plus assign and this is going to assign for my uh, production 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 resource group successfully added i'll go to my alex account again then i'll refresh i'll go to virtual machine refresh okay i will select virtual machine azure virtual machine so what is the uh, resource group name production. production so now you can see that okay let's wait it is not updated at wait so it will take uh, maybe 20 to 30 seconds to effect of you let's wait till now it is not done. Wait. So let me check add assignment or assignment. We have already added production. wait uh, once again i will add one minute Access, but that is not reflecting our way. Let's wait. Maybe it will take some time. Wait. Maybe. So I'll remove this role first, then I'll try. Wait. I'll create one more uh, resource group and I'll try. Okay, so let me refresh. Sometime it will take maybe one to two minutes as we wait. Deleting resource group. Okay, so I'll create one more resource group. Uh, create a resource group. So this I will call it as production. And uh, US East West region user already access. Okay, production one. I'll call it as production one. Review plus create and uh, create production one 
access control I am I'll go to add add a role assignment select owner permission next add a member we'll add Alex select role assignment review as okay it's adding weight So let's wait or else we will log out and log in. Okay. Refresh. Okay. Now it's nothing is available. Wait. Let me log out and log in first. Wait. Okay, now I can see that I'm able to access production, right? So I can add as much as I want. See, suppose if you want to add multiple resource group, so you can add production, testing, production one, production two, okay? So he'll be able to access this all resource group, group over you. At a time, he can access multiple resource group. Okay, so previously it was not working. I don't know, we have to log in and log, log out and log in. So we are supposed to do that, okay? Anyway, I will select production one. Then I will uh, go to virtual machine. So I will select a, okay, I will create a virtual machine over here. Uh, then review plus create review plus create let's wait so as of now we have a uh, full privilege right so because I, I given full access so it's, it's it's supposed to be passed running for final validation validation passed okay so I can create one more uh, what one more resource group then I can add to my user into that resource group. the user will be able to access that particular resource group again okay so that's the concept of resource group and subscription and management group and resources. Any doubt? Any doubt?